Coffee, a word that awakens the senses and fuels our modern world. But where did this beloved beverage originate? Legend takes us back to ancient Ethiopia. Here, it is said, a goat herder named Kaldi noticed his animals behaving unusually energetic after eating berries from a particular tree. Intrigued, Kaldi tried the berries himself and experienced a similar boost in energy. Word of these magical berries spread and thus began coffee's long journey across the globe. From its humble beginnings in Ethiopia, coffee has become a staple beverage enjoyed by millions worldwide. The coffee we know and love starts its life as a small, unassuming seed. These seeds, often referred to as coffee beans, are actually the pits of the coffee cherry. They are carefully selected and prepared for planting, ensuring that only the best seeds make it to the soil. Planted in rich, fertile soil and nurtured by the sun and rain, the seed begins its journey of transformation. Over time, it sprouts and grows into a young coffee plant, reaching towards the sky. The process is slow and requires patience, as the plant needs the right balance of sunlight, water and nutrients to thrive. These plants thrive in tropical and subtropical regions around the world, forming a bean belt that circles the globe. This belt includes countries like Brazil, Colombia, Ethiopia and Vietnam, each contributing to the global coffee supply. The unique climates of these regions provide the perfect conditions for coffee plants to flourish. The coffee plant is a thing of beauty with glossy green leaves and delicate white flowers. These flowers are not only visually appealing but also play a crucial role in the plant's reproduction. They attract pollinators, which help in the formation of the coffee cherries. But it's the fruit that we're after, the coffee cherry. As the plant matures, it produces these cherries, which change colour from green to bright red as they ripen. The ripening process can take several months and the cherries must be harvested at just the right time to ensure the best quality beans. Inside each cherry lies two seeds pressed closely together, the coffee beans. These beans are carefully extracted from the cherries, a process that can be done by hand or with the help of machinery. Once extracted, the beans undergo several stages of processing to remove the outer layers and prepare them for roasting. These beans hold the key to the rich and flavorful drink we crave. After processing, the beans are roasted to perfection, bringing out their unique flavors and aromas. From there, they are ground and brewed, transforming into the delicious cup of coffee that starts our mornings and fuels our days. As the coffee cherries ripen, they transform from green to a vibrant red, signaling that it's time for harvest. This is a labor-intensive process, often done by hand, to ensure only the ripest cherries are picked. Skilled workers carefully pluck the cherries from the branches, their fingers moving deftly among the leaves. In some regions, mechanical harvesters are used, but the human touch remains essential for quality control. The harvested cherries are then sorted and prepared for the next stage in their journey. Processing. Once harvested, the coffee cherries must be processed to remove the outer layers and reveal the precious beans inside. There are two main methods of processing, dry processing and wet processing. In dry processing, the cherries are spread out in the sun to dry naturally. This traditional method gives the beans a fruity, sweet flavor. Wet processing, on the other hand, involves removing the pulp and skin of the cherries before drying. This method produces beans with a cleaner, brighter flavor. Regardless of the method, processing is a crucial step in developing the unique flavor profiles of different coffee beans. Section 5. The Art of Roasting Unlocking Hidden Flavors now we come to the transformation that unlocks the true potential of the coffee bean roasting. This process is not just about heating the beans, it's about bringing out the hidden flavors that lie dormant within each bean. The journey from raw green coffee beans to the aromatic, flavorful coffee we enjoy starts here. This is where the magic truly happens, as the beans are subjected to high heat transforming their chemical composition and releasing their aromatic oils. 
The heat causes the beans to undergo a series of complex chemical reactions known as the Maillard reaction, which is responsible for the development of the rich flavors and aromas. The roasting process is a delicate dance of time and temperature. Each type of coffee bean requires a specific roasting profile to achieve its optimal flavor. The roaster must carefully monitor the temperature and adjust the roasting time to ensure that the beans are roasted to perfection. The beans crack and pop as they roast, their color changing from green to brown and finally to the desired shade. This audible cracking, known as the first crack, signals that the beans are reaching the stage where they begin to develop their unique flavors. A second crack may occur for darker roasts, indicating a deeper level of roasting. Light roasts are delicate and retain more of the beans' original flavors, offering a brighter, more acidic taste. These roasts are often preferred for their ability to highlight the distinct characteristics of the coffee's origin. While dark roasts are bolder and more intense, the longer roasting time brings out deeper, more robust flavors, often with notes of chocolate or caramel. These roasts are favored by those who enjoy a strong, full-bodied cup of coffee. The roaster's skill and experience determine the final flavor profile of the coffee. A master roaster knows how to balance the time and temperature to bring out the best in each batch of beans. They taste and evaluate the roasted beans, ensuring that each cup of coffee delivers a consistent and exceptional experience. The art of roasting is truly about unlocking the hidden flavors within each coffee bean, transforming them into the delightful beverage we cherish every day. Section six, grinding, preparing for the perfect brew. With the beans roasted to perfection, it's time to prepare them for brewing. Grinding is a crucial step as it determines the surface area of the coffee exposed to water during brewing. The fineness or coarseness of the grind depends on the brewing method used. A coarse grind is suitable for French press or cold brew, while a fine grind is needed for espresso. Grinding releases the coffee's intoxicating aroma, filling the air with anticipation for the perfect cup. Section seven, brewing methods, a world of choices. The moment of truth has arrived, brewing the coffee. Over centuries, people around the world have developed countless methods for brewing coffee, each with its own unique ritual and resulting flavor. From the simple elegance of a pour over to the intricate process of using an espresso machine, the choices are endless. Some prefer the full bodied immersion of a French press, while others enjoy the clean, crisp flavor of a drip coffee maker. Each brewing method extracts different flavors and aromas from the beans, offering a world of possibilities for the coffee enthusiast. Section eight, the perfect cup, a sensory symphony. Finally, we arrive at the culmination of the journey, the perfect cup of coffee. This is not just a beverage, it is an experience, a ritual that has been perfected over time. Each cup tells a story, a narrative that begins with the humble coffee bean and ends with a moment of pure bliss. As you lift the cup to your lips, inhale the rich aroma and take that first sip, you are experiencing the culmination of centuries of tradition, innovation and passion. The journey of the coffee bean is a testament to human ingenuity and dedication. From the high altitude farms where the beans are carefully cultivated, to the meticulous roasting process that brings out their unique flavors, every step is a labor of love. The flavor is a complex symphony of notes from the bright acidity of a light roast, which dances on your palate with its citrusy and floral undertones, to the rich chocolate notes of a dark roast, which envelops your senses with its deep, robust character. Each sip is a journey through a landscape of flavors, a testament to the art of coffee making. The aroma tantalizes the senses, filling the air with a fragrance that is both comforting and invigorating. It is a scent that promises warmth and satisfaction, a prelude to the sensory delight that awaits, while the warmth of the cup soothes the soul. Holding a cup of coffee is like holding a piece of art, crafted with care and precision. The heat radiates through the ceramic, offering a moment of comfort and tranquility in a busy world. It's a moment to savor, a pause in the day to appreciate the simple pleasures. Each sip is a reminder of the beauty in everyday rituals, a small act of self-care that nourishes the spirit. 
to appreciate the journey from bean to cup, a journey that spans continents and cultures. The coffee in your cup has traveled a long way from the hands of farmers who nurtured the plants, to the roasters who perfected the beans, to the baristas who crafted your drink with skill and passion, and the countless hands that made it possible. Each cup of coffee is a celebration of this collective effort, a tribute to the people who have dedicated their lives to bringing you this moment of joy. So take a moment to savour your coffee, to appreciate the artistry and dedication that went into every sip. This is more than just a drink. It is a sensory symphony, a perfect cup that embodies the essence of coffee culture. Section 9. Coffee and the world, a social and economic force. Coffee is more than just a beverage. It's a global phenomenon that connects people and cultures. From the bustling coffee houses of Seattle to the street vendors of Hanoi, coffee fosters a sense of community and shared experience. The coffee industry also plays a vital role in the global economy, providing livelihoods for millions of farmers, roasters, baristas, and others involved in the supply chain. From bean to cup, coffee is a journey that touches countless lives. Section 10. Conclusion. A journey worth savouring. The next time you enjoy a cup of coffee, take a moment to reflect on the incredible journey it has taken. From the humble coffee plant to the skilled hands of farmers, roasters and baristas, each step plays a vital role in creating the beverage we know and love. So go ahead, savour that cup of coffee. It's a testament to the power of nature, human ingenuity, and the simple pleasures that connect us all.